Oh yeah, we've got an unboxing to do guys. I'm really excited because there are some critters in the box that are gonna be new members of the herd here at the camp. I can't wait to introduce them to you. I've never met them before, so we're gonna do it right now. All right, guys, I'm really excited. This has a really been a long time coming. I was getting emails from a gentleman named Isaac's son, and uh, at first I didn't know what to make of him. He was asking me if I was interested in taking his tortoises, but they were no ordinary tortoises, so I was a little bit like, there's no way this is real. I honestly thought this was some kind of prank someone was playing with me. So I was like, uh, yeah, sure. And then finally, we got to talking on the telephone, and... We got pictures of what they are, and you're gonna love what they are, friends. Oh my gosh. So originally also I was gonna drive all the way to Texas to pick these animals up, but I decided, man, I can't take that much time away from the camp. So I talked to my good friend, Robin Markland from Redline Reptile Shipping, and asked him if he'd be able to help me out, and he was able to, because this is not the ordinary thing you're gonna be shipping. Let's see, we got this package. Uh-oh, somebody got out of their bag last night. Can you guys tell what this is? Can you guys tell what this is? It's a baby Aldabra tortoise. It's a young Aldabra. Can you believe it? An actual Aldabra tortoise here. What a gorgeous animal, my gosh. This one's name is Timmy. This is gonna be so cool. An Aldabra tortoise, holy smokes. And he's got some of those little, uh, He's got some of these styrofoam peanuts on him. I'm gonna go ahead and just place them over here. I don't really want him to have these peanuts on him. Oh my gosh, we're gonna pull these peanuts off. This is amazing. Some of them are stuck on. Oh gosh, how cool is that? Can you believe someone gave me an Aldabra tortoise? This is just unreal. These tortoises originally came from my friend Sam Piscucci, and now they're living here. I'm gonna have to soak this little guy. We're gonna have to give him a soaky. Oh my gosh, let's go ahead, move him on out. Oh, go ahead, little one. You can have a walk. Oh, he's already walking all over. He's been cooped up only since about four o'clock yesterday. He's gone. Let's see what's in here. Holy smokes. I'm gonna have to go get a tub that I can soak them in. This is a bigger box. Now this was a custom box that Robin from Redline had to make in order to ship this animal FedEx because it's a little bit larger than what they're normally used to shipping. But they helped us out. Oh my God. This one's still in the bag, friends. This one is still in the bag. Let's just go ahead and cut this bag open. Oh, you're not gonna believe this. I'm excited. I wonder if you guys can tell how excited I am. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, you made a poopy. Oh. This, oh, it's not easy to get out of this bag. Okay, here we go. This is Boba. Holy smokes, get over there, box. Look at Boba, whoa, two? Aldabra tortoises that are gonna be living here at the camp. Oh my gosh, everything looks good. The animals look good. Woo! Let's get him down. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this guy. He's beautiful. They are gorgeous. Can you guys believe this? Two Aldabra tortoises that have been donated to Camp Kennan to live out here and grow up and live in a beautiful place. Look at them go, look at this. Timmy's already exploring and you can see how Timmy is being careful near that water. He's realizing that's water. Let's see what Boba does. They have to really get the lay of the land because this is gonna be their new home and they're gonna meet Cersei. Cersei's not the only Aldabra tortoise that's gonna be living in here now, guys. So this is amazing and their shells look good. Holy smokes. These guys came, like I said, from Isaac in Texas, somewhere outside of Dallas. And you know what? He, he just realized they were gonna get really big and they needed 
a lot more space and he's a viewer of the channel and knew that I had the space for these guys. And we already have some large Aldabras and Galapagos tortoises. So now we've officially got four Aldabra tortoises at the camp. I'm in disbelief. I mean, I can't believe this is my life that these guys are actually hanging out here. How cool is this? Beautiful, beautiful little guys. Look at their faces. And they seem to be happy to be out of their boxes. They're just gonna wander around. We're gonna follow them around and just hang out with them. Holy smokes, guys. This is so random. Timmy and Boba to add to Circe, Nostradamus, Socrates, and Darwin. Almost forgot Darwin. But they're just taking it easy. They're gonna spend the whole day getting acclimated. These guys have been captive bred. They were the only two tortoises in their home. Hey, Timmy, don't be scared. Oh, I just wanted to peel some of that stuff off of you, buddy. Oh, let's see what happens. That's water. That's water, buddy, you know, you'll float. But I don't know if you want to get wet at the moment. So this is so amazing. Now he's going to back away and they're going to go wander around and we're going to follow them and watch them get acclimated. But you know what? It rained a little bit, so we got to raise up the skimmer here. There we go. Now the surface water gets to skim. You see that? Sometimes if it rains, it fills up. Holy smokes. This is a testament to our friends at Redline Shipping. They did a great job and I'm going to be using their service from now on because this was such a big crazy ordeal and they were so nice to me that they actually waived their fee to get these tortoises here um, which i just think is amazing and a big help and just want to say thank you to redline reptile shipping check them out online they also have some really cool uh tools for tortoises and reptiles that i've been using uh their tongs their forceps scrapers they make a whole line of reptile accessories that you get you guys may need so check them out. Look at that. Boba is off, man. Boba's going to wander around. I wonder what it's going to be like when they meet Cersei. They're using the bridge already. These guys are pretty darn smart. And they're going to get the lay of the land. And this is going to be their home for a long time. Living out here with the radiated tortoises. Eventually, the radiated tortoises are going to head back to their owner's house, my friend. And uh, he's going to be taking them back at some point. I don't know exactly when, but they will go home. I, of course, have two radiated tortoises myself that I'll be keeping and then we're gonna have to find a male radiated tortoise uh, so that I'll have a group but here he goes here goes Timmy see you Timmy so cute I love Aldabra tortoises I love the way they move and I love their personalities such a cute species and they get massive as you guys know these guys are found on the Aldabra Atoll in the Indian Ocean which is just a little bit northwest of the, or northeast rather, of the Seychelles, I believe. Uh, and they are really just animals that can survive off minimal amounts of food where they live. It is not heavily vegetated, not a lot of fresh water. They get their water from uh, fresh water from rain. And they have those pointy noses that they're able to suck up water through in the crevices, uh, the coral crevices that collect the fresh water. So those guys are very well adapted to a drier climate, believe it or not. They can also spend months at sea. Uh, they can actually drift on the ocean currents. Some have been found washed up in Africa with barnacles on them, which meant they had been out in the ocean for a long time, just bobbing. And sailors would go to these islands and load these animals up on their ships because they didn't have to feed them, and they didn't have to water them, and those animals would live for a long time and they would get fresh meat, which is sad for the tortoises, but it was a way for these guys to survive long tracks at sea. So pretty incredible animal. Uh, I love them. They're just do fantastic. They got great personalities. Uh, let's go see where is Cersei. I can't wait for Cersei to meet these guys. And this is how they normally are. They get a little bit shy when they're little like that. They get scared when something walks by them. So then they'll start to hustle and move away from you pretty quick. But eventually they chill out like Cersei here. Here's Cersei. She's definitely bigger than Boba, but um, I think Boba's 
getting close to her size and she just keeps growing because she's out here with all this good stuff. She's got all this cactus. She's got a lot of room to move and she is definitely a little queenie, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh, you get scratchies. You get scratchies, you're gonna ram into me, you little girl. Oh, look at her. They can feel through their cells. Look, you can scratch her butt and I don't know if she wants it. Oh God, that's how funny. It's so funny when you scratch your highness. Uh, let's go back over here to our new kids. So amazing, man. Can you guys believe we just got two Aldabra tortoises in the mail? So random. This is incredible. I still got to get some of this stuff off, but he's just too worried about moving around. So I'll just let him do his thing. Uh, I'm not really worried about those guys uh, getting bothered by those, but that is so cute. He is beautiful. And he's large enough that I don't have to worry about any predators like raccoons or anything. We've got the electric, we've got the uh, cameras out here. Uh, so I'm keeping an eye on these guys at all times, which is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, great posture on these guys. Their shells look good. They're only gonna grow smoother and smoother since they're gonna be outdoors here at the camp. So really, you know, when you get an Aldabra tortoise, uh, you know, they're grassland species. They're gonna eat browse. They're going to eat grasses. They're gonna eat leaves. They're gonna have a high fiber diet. Um, these guys are gonna be fed twice a week. And then whatever little dollar grasses and things like that are on the ground, they will nibble up. So uh, they're gonna have a nice, slow, steady growth, which is gonna also aid in those beautiful shells. And my gosh, look at that cute little crooked. He's got two little nails on his back legs that are a little bit crooked. But other than that, I mean, he's perfect, my gosh. And so I like to watch them move around. Make sure they've got good posture, they've got good mobility, and they certainly have that. They're active, man. This is so cool. I still want to watch them interact with the other tortoise here and make sure that they can uh, see, you know, that they're going to be part of a really nice herd here. So they'll see the other Madagascan tortoises. They're going to see the radiateds. Uh, they're going to meet Cersei here soon. This is just awesome, man. Uh, these guys, I got my Nostradamus. Let's go see him. I got Nostradamus way back in 2004 and Nostradamus was about hatchling size so he's literally that big uh, so I was able to get that tortoise raise him up here he is right here and so look at how big he's gotten and I mean that is just awesome right he's close to 200 pounds now he is the friendliest tortoise I have and he just might be my favorite don't tell anyone uh, but look at this he's already raising up because he wants me to scratch his neck he wants his neck scratched. He's so beautiful. So this guy here is just about 19 years old and he grew so much. There's Socrates budding in. Hi, Socks. How you doing, sweetheart? Yeah, so there's Socks. And, uh, you know, these guys love a good scratch. But when they're smaller, like the ones up there, they're going to be a little bit more, um, you know, they get a little spooked easily uh, and they kind of charge away. I'm going to just put my hand right here and you can see little scratches. Can you believe he's the big daddy now? We've got Nostradamus and he's definitely a male. Uh, wonder what the other ones are. Maybe we'll get another male in there. We'll have 2.2, I don't know. Cersei looks like she's gonna be a female. Um, I don't know what the rest are, but it's gonna take a pretty long time. See ya, dude. See you in a little bit. We're gonna, it's gonna take a long time to really sex those guys. It takes close to 20 years. And the reason I'm able to sex Nostradamus is he actually showed me uh, his tackle, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, he averted his penis uh, a long time ago. So I was like, yep, well, that answers that mystery. He is, a, in fact, a male. Uh, but let's have a look. You can see uh, all the radiateds are out here. They're just kind of wandering about. It had just rained and tortoises are pretty active after a nice rainstorm. And that's, that's good. So I, again, so thrilled that we've got these beautiful animals to spend time with and to raise up here and to keep an eye on. And I'm going to be their tortoise daddy now. Uh, it's incredible. It is just incredible. Uh, and that these originated with my, my friend Sam uh, is even better because I love the way Sam keeps his animals at Florida Iguana and Tortoise Breeders. Uh, he knows his stuff. He only has healthy animals. He only sells healthy animals. And uh, these animals, in my opinion, the Aldabras, are some of the hardiest tortoises uh, that you can actually get. That being said, uh, years ago, I did buy two. And what happened was one got pneumonia. Uh, they were, maybe I had them for a year. One got pneumonia. And as soon as I saw the signs, went to the vet and it was too late. With pneumonia and tortoises, um, 
it is so hard to know they have it until outward signs are showing like open mouth breathing and by that time it's usually too late which is very sad um but nostradamus uh has been just incredibly powerful strong animal uh, husbandry is very important. Make sure these guys stay warm in the winter. Uh, keep them in their heated shelters, which we have throughout the camp. Uh, and that's going to be, you know, a very big deal when it comes to taking care of Timmy and Boba. Hi, Boba. Are you catching some rays right now? Do you like this Florida sun? Do you remember it? You were born in here. So he's back in South Florida, which is just perfect climate for these guys. They're going to have plenty of water, as you can hear there waterfall and all the aquascape ecosystems around here uh, they're smart enough to know not to really go in the deep water even if they did they can float and there are plenty of places for them to climb out and so that's important too but my goodness how awesome is this my gosh we've got two aldabra tortoises oh one's on the move get going go a little buddy go wow that's a oh careful <laughs> that's a fast tortoise my gosh you think that tortoises are slow but that's not always the case aldabras move pretty quick and they grow quick as well uh when they're little they'll live in these when they're real real babies they don't want to get stepped on by the adults so they live in the coral crevices little tiny canyons and there's fungi and little plants that grow out of those things and then they quickly start to grow and grow and grow and then they get too big for those little crevices but by the time they can come out of those little hiding areas uh they're large enough not to get crushed by the adults so that's a really unique thing that happens to them they hide a lot as most baby animals do baby turtles and tortoises like to hide and then they just start to grow and the fastest growing ones are usually the ones that are going to make it and uh, as we know it's a very tough life for a baby tortoise so if you survive the first 24 hours of being laid in the nest and then survive the first year of life you're doing pretty good so uh i'm suspecting though here at the camp we are gonna have a lot of great luck with this species and these two tortoises i love them to death can't believe it cannot believe it look at how far timmy's going timmy is an adventurous little one as you can tell Whee! how cool is this man aldabra tortoises here at the camp two more which brings our total to four aldabra tortoises what a gift what i just can't thank uh isaac uh for trusting me thank you for trusting me with these beautiful animals i'm gonna do my absolute best you can see where they're living now buddy i am all in on turtles tortoises and other reptiles and again shout out to robin marklin from redline reptile shipping check those guys out what an upstanding job what a fantastic job to get these beautiful animals here safe and sound so okay everyone let me know what you think of our new arrivals here at the camp in the comments below are you guys psyched to see more aldabra tortoises here i am let me know thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys again on another episode of camp cannon so say goodbye to boba and timmy bye bye